The Buffalo Bills made a splash move after their Week 6 victory over the New York Jets by trading for Amari Cooper from the Cleveland Browns. And by acquiring Cooper, the Buffalo Bills addressed what was a clear need at the wide receiver position, and they did it in a big way. Amari Cooper is a 10-year NFL veteran who has earned five Pro Bowl nods with seven 1,000-yard campaigns in what has been a decorated career. Cooper's career has been very impressive to date, and he's set to make a massive impact on the Buffalo Bills in an offense that has struggled so far in 2024. Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varco, and today I want to talk to you about Amari Cooper and how he's going to have an impact on this Buffalo Bills offense moving forward in 2024. But before we do that, I'd like to take a moment to encourage you to click that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content coming away all season long. I'll be at the Bills-Titans game on Sunday, and we'll get our first look at Amari Cooper. I'll be sure to have plenty of Cooper content being released from Highmark Stadium. And for all you autograph collectors out there, I'd also like to take a moment to let you know that I am partnering with TSC Buffalo. Total Sports Buffalo is Buffalo's leader in 100% authentic signed memorabilia. They have a wide selection of items that could make for a great gift with the holiday season quickly approaching, or you can add to your collection. And I'm teaming up with TSC Buffalo by providing you with a discount code for $10 off your order of $100 or more on their website. The code is Bills Bunker, and this code is good for all items on their site, excluding mystery boxes and pre sale items. I'll leave the link to their site in the description of this video so you can score yourself a deal on some awesome autographs. Now let's get back to talking about Amari Cooper in this video. When you look at the body of work from the Buffalo Bills offense over the last three weeks, against some solid defensive units from Baltimore, Houston, and New York, the Bills offense averaged just about 17 points, and that's not good enough. It's a far cry from the expectation with Josh Allen at quarterback, but realistically, it wasn't all number 17's fault. Allen was working with the weapons that have been supplied to him, and they simply weren't good enough. Buffalo's receivers couldn't create much separation from defenders, and when they did, they ended up dropping dimes from Allen. Without that true number one target in the mix, any solid defense had the ability to lock down Buffalo's receivers, and then it was just about slowing James Cook, Josh Allen, and the rest of the run game. It was starting to look ugly for Buffalo's offense, and with the lack of production from Allen's receivers, he was being forced to hold the ball longer, and because of that, he was taking a beating. It's an empty hand coming through, which is almost the guarantee for the fumble. The mantra of this Buffalo Bills offense heading into the season was everybody eats, but the offense was really starving instead. Now, Amari Cooper is set to join the Bills, and not only will Amari feast, but so will the others around him. Cooper is a veteran wide receiver that can stretch the field vertically with his 6 foot 1, 211 pound frame, and he's one of the best route runners in the game. Cooper's route running ability is quite underrated and it has literally earned him the nickname of the route runner. He's a hard nosed receiver that will force defenses to key in on him because he can put up serious numbers on any given Sunday. It was just last season that Cooper set Cleveland's single game receiving yards record when he hauled in 11 receptions for 265 yards and two touchdowns. And his ability to put up big time numbers will also be beneficial for the everybody eats mantra and that's because defenses are going to have to account for Cooper which will help others such as Khalil Shakir, Keon Coleman and Dalton Kincaid get open. So by adding Amari Cooper into the mix the Buffalo Bills offense has added another dimension that they are missing without that reliable number one option. Defenses are going to have to account for the five time pro bowler Otherwise, he'll be able to make them pay, and the Buffalo Bills are going to put up more points as a result. I just want to close out this video by saying that Amari Cooper on the field, obviously a really solid wide receiver, but what I like about him even more is the off the field stuff. Buffalo has had a solid wide receiver in Stephon Diggs, but we know that that came with a lot of drama off the field. Diggs often referred to as a diva. I've never heard that about Amari Cooper once. Buffalo paying Amari Cooper just over $800,000 for the rest of the season. And if it doesn't work out, that's fine. He's a free agent at the end of the year. There's no long-term commitment here. Cooper 
he has even more incentive to go out and ball if he wants to get another big time deal beyond the age of 30. He's on the wrong side of 30. So go out there, ball, get another payday, and maybe stay in Buffalo long term. We'll see how it goes beyond this season. But right now, the Buffalo Bills have added another dimension to their offensive unit by going out and getting that number one receiver. It's a drama free guy in Amari Cooper, and I love it. I love this addition for the Buffalo Bills. Amari Cooper wearing number 18, and it's very fitting because he's going to be the plus one to Josh Allen, number 17, as number 17 and number 18 try to make a push to go deep in the playoffs for the Buffalo Bills. I want to know your thoughts about how Amari Cooper is going to impact this Bills offense. I think I covered it all here. Amari Cooper, obviously, he's a big time wide receiver. Defenses are going to have to account for him, and it's just going to make game planning for this Bills offense even more difficult. Now, you can run the ball. You can, running the ball was no problem before, but you're going to have the game plan for Amari Cooper, which frees up other receivers, and then it just adds another unpredictable layer to this Bills offense. So, let me know your thoughts on Amari Cooper joining the Buffalo Bills. Didn't have to give up much for him, so it's pretty awesome. Awesome stuff, in my opinion. I'm looking forward to seeing Amari Cooper and the Bills in action on Sunday. And I will be at Highmark Stadium when the Buffalo Bills take on the Tennessee Titans. I'll be at every home game throughout the remainder of the season. And I'll also be in Seattle next week. So stay tuned for all that content coming your way right here on the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varco. Click subscribe if you haven't yet. Go Bills.